today we talk on what to do in case someone converses in your presence because seizures are very common one, one out of every 10 people will converse at least once in their lifetime so chances are you may you may have to witness a person converse in your lifetime what you need to remember is unless you're in a hospital setting once a seizure starts there's really nothing much you can do to stop the seizure and also most of the seizures are not emergencies so you should also keep that in mind but there are some circumstances where you'll have to go to hospital once the seizure stops so how do we tell someone is actually convulsing there are so many types of convulsions. We start with the commonest one, which is what we call a generalized seizure or convulsion. I'll be using the words interchangeably. So we say someone has generalized convulsion when it's the whole body that is involved and they're usually unconscious in that particular period of time when they're convulsing. So these people either make a shout and then they'll fall down. Some will roll their eyes. Some of them have froth coming from their mouth. And then they'll have these jerky movements. Most of the time, the seizure will last less than five minutes, but sometimes it may go for more than five minutes. And then after that, they'll go into deep sleep, then they will wake up. So that's the first type. And then the second type we call, we, we say it's focal, like it's just, it involves just a part of their body. That's what you'll be able to see. And so this can either be just involving maybe just a part of the face or sometimes a hand or sometimes a leg. And then they'll have these uncontrolled movements, though sometimes these people may actually be aware, but they'll not be able to control this movement. Then the third type is what we call absence, where they'll not you'll not see them moving any part of their brain. But what usually usually happens, they'll just have these episodes of just staring so you think maybe they've zoned out so maybe they were talking to you and then all of a sudden in the middle of a sentence they stop like pause for a few seconds then they continue or maybe they were holding a cup and they were taking tea all of a sudden that cups cup drops like it just drops or they were even maybe in school someone was held holding a pen and then that that pen just drops and it's like they then it's, it's very usually very brief then they wake and they're like oh what happened and then they'll continue so usually these are very brief and sometimes it may happen very frequently these types of seizures can easily go unnoticed unless you are very very keen so all of these are convulsions but usually you are most worried if you have what we call a generalized seizure so if you're faced with someone who actually has a generalized seizure what do you do so the first thing is you need to make sure that there's enough space where this person is conversing. So make sure you create space. You might have to push people away or you might have to push a few things away to create space for this person. Then the second thing is make sure that if they are wearing glasses, you remove them. If they have a necktie, you might have to loosen the tie and then put something soft on top of their head you can use their jacket or you can use your jacket or or anything that you that is gonna be around so that at the, uh, when they're doing the the jackie movements they don't they don't injure their skin or part of their head as they do the jackie movement depending on how rough the surface is and then the other thing that you need to do is put them on a lateral side like on on, on a side so that at least their their airway remains clear all the time do not try to pin them down as a way of stopping the conversion because as we say you there's nothing you can do to stop the conversion so the conversion will start and stop when the time to stop comes because conversion most of the time they generate from the from the brain so you stopping the muscle can actually do more harm than good and then make sure you do not try to put anything in their mouth when they are conversing or even when after they they are just done with conversion and then now they're in the deep sleep the only time you can offer something to eat is when they are fully awake like you can they have actually woken up and you've interacted with them and you think their mental state is back then that's the time you can really offer anything to drink or to eat for that matter once the conversion is done, it's best to stay with this person until when the conversion is completely gone and they are awake and fully aware. 
if you can you can move them to a safer place and just tell them what happened so that they are able to understand that actually they did have a conversion and when you're doing all these things remember to time the length of the conversion and please do take the details of what this person is doing while they are unconscious this will be the rolling of their eyes the frothing of their mouth whether they've opened their bowels like the fast food or they've even peed on themselves how long the conversion lasted you really and if it's the whole body involved or it's just one part of the body involved this detail is extremely important in case you have to go to hospital after the conversion so when do we go to hospital we go to hospital after a conversion if this is the first conversion this person has never had a conversion before and it happened you will have to go to hospital after it if and if the conversion lasted for at least five minutes or more you will need to have to go to hospital or this person has had a series of, of conversion maybe they've had a conversion but lasted for maybe a minute then they went into deep sleep and before they fully woke up they had another one it really doesn't matter how long how brief the conversions were but if this happened you you need to go to hospital once they are awake or if possible you can even call an ambulance in the process or in case this person got hurt in the process of conversion or in the process of converting as you said some will really will usually will fall down and they'll really hurt maybe they sustained a very bad cut or maybe they even fell on something dangerous like a maybe hot water or on fire you need to go to hospital maybe if the conversion started while they were swimming then they started inside the water you're not sure if they were if they aspirated some water you need to go to hospital as soon as the conversion is over or you might have to call an ambulance if this person has other has other conditions things like diabetes hypertension or any heart disease if this person who's conversing is actually pregnant that's very dangerous you need to call an ambulance or go to hospital as soon as you can or in case if this person actually had a conversion they are awake and then you notice that now they are having difficulties in breathing that means there's a small chance that maybe this person aspirated in the process that's dangerous you need to go to hospital as soon as possible i really hope this is helpful and i hope you've also learned a thing or two it's always a pleasure to have you thank you so much